Good day grade 11. This is our week 7 for quarter 2 in general mathematics. And our topic to be discussed for our last two weeks in quarter 2 is all about logic. Our lesson 13 for week 7 is illustrates and symbolizes propositions. In your everyday life, you are facing different information about people, environment, things, and events. You may also wonder how you survive in this new normal situation, especially in your learning. Our learning competencies for this lesson, the learner illustrates and symbolizes propositions. My dear students, if you are confined to discern from what is right or wrong, your brain starts to function and prompt you with your reasoning ability. Reasoning is the intellectual faculty by which conclusions are drawn from premises. So if your brain starts to function using your reasoning ability, that is logic. Logic is the science of correct reasoning. Logic is the study of reasoning. Six the rules and principles of how people should reason correctly and rationally. Did you know that Aristotle is one of the earliest logicians and one of the most renowned Aristotle is the student of Plato and the tutor of Alexander the Great. His works were used to distinguish valid from invalid argument. So before we go further in our lesson, let us review your English subject. Kinds of sentence according to the proposed. Like declarative sentence, this is used to make a statement of fact, wish, intent, or feeling. For example, I will create a great painting this weekend. Imperative. It is used to state command, request, or direction. For example, write your name in a sheet of paper. Interrogative. This is used to ask a question. For example, did you do your homework? Exclamatory. It is used to express a strong feeling. For example, stop talking. Now, let's try to identify what kind of sentence am I. So, you're going to classify each sentence as declarative, imperative, interrogative, or exclamatory. Number one, the COVID-19 vaccination will start next month. What kind of sentence is this? The answer is declarative because it makes a statement of fact. Ouch! I cut my finger. What kind of sentence is this? The answer is X because it expresses a strong feeling. Turn right at the third traffic sign. This kind of sentence is imperative because it states a command or direction. Have you heard of the good news? This sentence is interrogative because it asks a question. Now, which sentence can be answered as either true or false? So you're going to say yes if the sentence can be answered by true or false or Give me thumbs up. 
then say no or give me thumbs down if the sentence cannot be answered by true or false. Rowena is passing in mathematics. Can we answer this by true or false? Yes. So, thumbs up. We can answer this by true or false. Pass the paper and then leave the room. Can we answer this by true or false? No. So, thumbs down. We cannot answer this by true or false. When will you submit your modules? Can we answer this by true or false? No. So, thumbs down. We cannot answer this by true or false. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and 12 minus 7 is equal to 3. Can we answer this by true or false? Yes. This can be answered by true or false. So, thumbs up. Now, when you start to express your complete idea, whether it is a true or false, that is a proposition. So what is a proposition? It is a declarative sentence that can be classified as true or false, but not both. So its truth value is either true, which is denoted by T, or false, which is denoted by F. Examples, the COVID-19 vaccination will start next month. This is a declarative sentence that can be answered by true or false. Rowena is passing in mathematics. This is also a declarative sentence that can be answered by true or false. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and 12 minus 7 is equal to 3. This can be answered by true or false. So therefore, this is a proposition. Let's try to identify the following statements if it is a proposition or not a proposition. The number 4 is even and less than 2. Yes, it is a proposition because we can answer this by true or false. What is the domain of the function? This is not a proposition because this is an interrogative sentence and cannot be answered by true or false. Kauaian City is the capital of Isabella. Yes, it is a proposition because this is a declarative sentence and can be answered by true or false. Open your eyes. This is not a proposition because we cannot answer this by true or false and it is an imperative sentence. There is a life on Mars. You're right, it is a proposition because this is a declarative and can be answered by true or false. All birds can fly. Yes, you're correct again, it is a proposition because this is a declarative and can be answered by true or false. Look out. Yes, it's not a proposition because we cannot answer but this by true or false. And it is an imperative sentence. X is an even number. Remember that if the value of X is odd number, then our answer is false. But if the value of X is even, then our answer is true. So therefore, this sentence can be answered neither true or false. So therefore, it's not a proposition because 
we cannot answer both true or false so it is a not proposition philippines is the largest archipelago in the world yes it is a proposition because it's a declarative and can be answered by true or false how old are you it's not a proposition because this is an interrogative sentence and cannot be answered by true or false for your activity entitled i will try it you're going to tell whether statement is a proposition or not so we have here the column for the statement and the column for the proposition or not for example all cows are black is it a proposition or not x plus 2 is equal to 2x x plus 2 is equal to 2x when x is equal to negative 2 and number 4 look out for number 5 wash your hands for activity 2 entitled i can do it tell whether the statement is a proposition or not determine the truth value so we have here first column is statement the third second column is the proposition or not then for the third column you're going to tell the truth value for example covid19 is a virus is it a proposition or not on and the third column is it true or false number two one is an even number three x plus two is equal to two x when x is equal to negative two then four this statement is true and five check your answer and for activity three i can do it Tell whether the statement is a proposition or not, and if not, tell the reason why. So we have the first column is the statement, second is the proposition or not, and the third column, your reason. For example, roses are red and violets are blue. Is it a proposition or not? Then what will be your reason? For number two, what is a proposition? For number three, wear your mask. Four, learning is fun and challenging in the new normal. Five, M is a prime number. And for your reflection, evaluate your understanding using the declarative sentence to express your opinion regarding the topic on propositions. So before we end again, let me share this quotation according to Arthur Stanley Eddington. The laws of logic do not prescribe the way our minds think. They prescribe the way our minds ought to think. Again, this is Teacher Riza. And please don't forget to like and subscribe by pressing the buttons below. Subscribe now. Keep safe everyone and thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.